¿Qué tal amigos de Vera Visión? Nos encontramos en el Barclay Center, en donde hoy día se enfrentará Miguel Cotto contra Daniel Gueo. Quédese con nosotros y le traeremos las imágenes de la conferencia de prensa. Ese era el plan, pegarle abajo y tirarle eh, la izquierda con, con la que lo tiraste. El plan, el plan era eh, hacer y, y seguir lo que vieron, que fue un Miguel Cotto eh, alerta eh, en todo momento, colocando su golpe y, y en el momento en el que Freddy me pidió eh, que atacara más al oponente, pues en ese momento pues sentí la libertad de, 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 de dirigirme hacia ahí y atacar. No tengo... Eh, ningún tipo de, de manera de observar o ver la pelea eh, diferente con Canelo que no sea una pelea más o un, un oponente más en mi carrera. Canelo es un peleador fuerte, la pelea que, que, que el público está comentando y eh, el peso sería algo a discutir, pero eh, no veo nada eh, en el camino para que la pelea no se dé. No, no hay ningún tipo de mensaje que enviar ellos ellos saben eh, a qué se sube Miguel Coto al ring cada vez que, que, que se sube eh, yo eh, estaré listo para enfrentar al, al, al que sea ellos pelearon hace una semana están descansando eh, es mi turno de descansar ahora luego de varias, de, de, de varias semanas de descanso pues podremos hablar si, si el guerrero Digo, si es eh, Canelo, si es Golovkin o el que sea, estoy preparado y estaré listo para el que sea. De, de Freddy, en eso, en eso. Freddy, Freddy ha brindado confianza de vuelta, Freddy ha brindado eh, tranquilidad, paz y eso es lo que, lo que están viendo en Miguel Gómez. Gracias. 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 No, not that it was just hand speed. He was fast at getting to where he needed to be, as well as having good hand speed. So, you know, that that did surprise me a little bit, and uh, you know, it will surprise a few others as well. I mean, his height can be a little bit tricky. He's very low, very low fighter, and uh, you know, if, if you you don't watch for a split second, you know, he'll catch up. Um, and I don't want to make excuses at all. I mean, it was it was. You know, we we made the way. Um, uh, it wasn't easy. It's, it's never easy, but um, you know, I didn't feel 100% out there. But you know, Miguel Cotto is a great champion. He's a great fighter. He's you know fought the best fighters in the world. So you know, I'm, I'm not gonna blame you know losing three extra pounds on you know what happened tonight. You know, I got caught, and uh, that's what happened. I want to thank Miguel Cotto with his team for giving us the opportunity. To fight for the title, I want to thank Rock Nation uh, for promoting it and giving us the opportunity as well. Um, Billy Tracy and Gary Francisco, part of the team that brought me on uh, a few years ago, and it's been a great ride. And we do have a great team. One thing I'd say about Daniel Gill, and then you can go on with your questions: never, ever, ever has made an excuse, and there's no excuses tonight. He's a, he, he is a, a, a true champion. He said he'd make the 157. We agreed to the 157, and he made the 157. But I want everybody to know, the writers in here, that I, I personally am still opposed to catch weights for championship fights. And I believe that the champion can fight at whatever weight he wants to, as long as it's not over the limit of that weight class, but shouldn't take that advantage and make the other fighter not be technically in that weight class. Daniel's a true 160-pound champion, so, and he's, he's honest. The last three pounds were really tough, but he hydrated, and he, he was who he was out there. Hey, Daniel, over here. Um, a big night for Rock Nation, a big night for Kodo Promotions, uh, a wonderful and brilliant performance uh, by the champion, uh, Miguel Cotto. All of you are here tonight to listen to the champ. So Miguel, why don't you give him a couple of words? All I have to say is thank you to everybody. Uh, we worked really hard in, in, in LA. Freddy is the mastermind behind 
everything I did for the last two years with no doubt my best years in boxing and I said Freddy after the, the end of the fight he is the best thing I ever could have in my career and he really is thank you Ray the confidence I I lost after dealing with uh, two losses in a row, first time in my career. He brings the Omegle back and he, he just is the reason Miguel is here right now. Gennady made his own fight, I make my own. There's no point to comparison with that. I just came here to do what we plan to do. In, in LA, I think that was just perfect. It was a perfect plan. The, the plan Freddy had in mind for 10 weeks in, in LA. And we just were here to make this plan happen. I think so. I mean, I, I've, uh, I've thought about that fight a lot, and I've, I've watched a lot of tape on our, that opponent. And, uh, I thought it would happen actually sooner than it, than it is, but um, I do like that fight. I think it's a great fight for us. It's a great fight for boxing. It's a great fight for the world. Actually, it's two really good fighters going at it, and that's what we want to see. And uh, I will get Miguel ready for that fight, and I feel that we will we will win that fight. Just another fight. Canelo just going to be another opponent, and we are going to be ready for him. It's all I can say about it. It, you really think that's maybe another fight for you in terms of what you think competitively, but in terms of the, the marketability of the fight. I mean, it's a fight that the fans really that, want to that, see. That, that's going to be a great fight, a big fight for, for, for us, for the whole world boxing. But at the end of the road, for us as a, as, a, as a boxer, as a trainer, we just going to prepare ourselves to be ready for whatever Canelo had in mind for us. I have one other question regarding uh, the Canelo fight. What will the weight for that fight be? He's been fighting at 155 pounds for, I believe, his last three consecutive fights. Obviously, you came in 153, or as you say, a small middleweight, if a middleweight at all. What would be the weight for that fight? You're both the same size. If he'd been fighting uh, in 155 for his last three fights, I've been fighting in, in 159 against Martinez. My way was 155. I was I was fighting uh, 157 with uh, Daniel Gill. My way was 153.4. We can make it 155. Con imágenes de David Calderón para Verea Visión, Uriel Bello.